Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a skincare topic and it's going to be my experience with Proactive. This is something that's like quite a big topic amongst the skincare community. <laughs> is that the right thing to say? I don't know but I see a lot of videos on this and a lot of people have quite strong opinions on proactive so I thought I would give you all my personal experiences and my personal opinions so I'm just going to talk you through my personal experiences and what happened when I tried proactive and yeah just give you my thoughts my opinions my experiences obviously everyone's skin is different things work differently for different people but this is just my journey so for me personally skincare is like my thing like I'm really really into skincare I should everyone be to a certain extent we should all be taking care of our skin but like I'm really into skincare like people have their things like people want to be skinny or they want to have long hair or they want to have nice makeup like I want to have nice skin like that is the thing that like concerns me the most obviously I want all the other things but mostly I want nice skin I want to look after my skin it's the one thing that you're going to have for your entire life you only get one set of skin so you should definitely be looking after it. If you're not already, go and look after your skin. Honestly, the reason that I started this channel was skincare. Like skincare is the thing that I am most passionate about and this was just gonna be a completely skincare dedicated channel. But then I thought I'll mix it up, I'll throw in some other beauty things. But this is the main reason that I started this channel and these are the videos that I get excited about the most and I like to talk about the most. And you can tell I'm passionate about it because I'm rambling, but this is the first skincare video of a lot of skincare videos to come. I feel like I can talk a lot from personal experience because I've had a lot of ups and downs with my own skin so I feel like I can give you, like I say everyone's skin's different but I feel like I can give you opinions of certain products because I've tried a lot of them. Trust me, I've tried a lot of skincare products and I feel like I finally got my routine down, I finally know my skin better than I ever have and in the past year I've had a roller coaster with my skin and I'm finally coming out the other side of it so I feel like now is the perfect time for me to share my skincare knowledge with you all. So I am gonna start with a little bit of a skin background to my personal skin, just so that you can liken it to however your skin is. Everyone's skin is different. Like no two people on the planet have the same skin. Skincare products that work for some people and you might try them and think, this worked for them, why doesn't it work for me? Like everyone's skin is different. And I feel like that's one of the lessons that you have to learn in order to get your own skincare routine down like they might be products that go viral on tiktok and they're working for everyone else you buy them and they don't work for you and then you think why isn't this working for me it works for everyone else like you have to really learn and understand your own personal skin and it might be that it works for 90 percent of other people and it doesn't work for you that's just one of those things unfortunately so in terms of the actual history of my skin if you like I never suffered with acne as a teenager. Usually when people get acne, it's in their teen years and then people tend to grow out of it. That never happened for me. I never had really, really great skin. Like I never always had clear skin, but I definitely never had acne. I would get odd breakouts here and there, but I think as did any teenager. So it was never something that bothered me. Then when I got into my late teens, I really started getting into skincare. That was when I was like, right, I want to have perfect skin. Like, I don't want to have these spots every now and again. I want to have clear, glowing skin all of the time. So that's when I really, really got into skincare. And I thought, I don't know why this was stupid of us, but when I used to get small spots, I thought, I'm going to try Proactive because if it can clear up acne, it's definitely going to clear up these few minor breakouts that I'm having. So in my head, what I thought was, if it can do that, for me, it's going to make my skin even more amazing. If it can clear really bad acne then my few pimples it's they're gonna go in like a week it's gonna be amazing i need proactive that was the way that my brain worked which thinking back now knowing what i know about proactive that's obviously not how it works it's a really harsh ingredient and that's how it clears up the acne so if you don't have acne you probably shouldn't be using proactive but my mind at the time i thought this is going to be amazing so i took myself online bought myself proactive and i can't remember the exact price of it now but it definitely wasn't cheap you couldn't buy it in smaller than i think a three month supply so I think I had to buy three months worth um, and I think from memory I think it was around 80 90 pound it wasn't cheap and you got three products so you got the cleanser the toner and then you got like a treatment almost like a moisturizer you got three products and you got three big bottles of it and that was what you were meant to do you meant to use it morning and night and you meant to have amazing skin now I know a lot of people have strong opinions on proactive now myself included 
it was the biggest mistake that I ever made for my skin. It was hands down the worst thing that I ever did for my skin, like no question. I regret using Proactive so, so much. This just like messed up my skin like you wouldn't believe. So I remember when I started using it after about a week, I started to notice a lot of like redness and they weren't necessarily spots, they were just like red lumps, like small red lumps I was getting all over my face. This is the difficulty with skincare, when you start a new product in, in your head you're always thinking right okay it needs to get worse before it can get better and this is just purging, it's just getting all of the badness out, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. So that was me, I was persevering, I was thinking it needs to get worse before it gets better, this is just getting all of the badness out, like just put up with it, just keep going. So I kept going. And it got worse and I kept going and it got worse and it just kept getting progressively worse and worse I was getting new spots new like almost like scars like little scabs all of the time I was getting red lumps I was getting redness I was getting texture I was getting all sorts all of the time and that was the way my brain was working this this must work it worked for everyone else it worked for Kendall Jenner it must work for me just keep going just keep going eventually you'll see the benefits this is the problem so you've convinced yourself it works for the people it must work for me I need to keep going because these benefits at the end are going to be so so worth it at what point do you say okay this isn't working for me I need to stop because it's it's just getting worse it's never going to get any better I kept going for a good few months I kept really really trying out they say you should try any skincare product for two months after two months you should have started to notice the good benefits. So after two months, you might have had the purging, your skin might be getting used to it. After two months, your skin should be tolerating whatever product you're using and you should start noticing good benefits. So I went for longer than two months, I'd say. I, I went for a good few months just persevering with it, just thinking it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. Instead, what I did was make my skin the worst condition that it's ever been in. When I stopped, my skin was horrific. It was just, a lot of redness so almost like little scars scabs just red marks all over my face from potentially either where I'd had spots or just where it had just ruined my skin barrier my skin barrier was totally and completely shredded it was it was ruined from starting proactive to try and help my skin and make my skin clearer and glowier and all of those things that you want I actually went a million steps back over and made my skin 10 times worse than it ever was so that was my biggest mistake thinking there was something wrong with my skin when in fact I then created a problem so like I say I can only speak from personal experiences if you actually had acne and tried it and it worked good for you but from what I know and from what I've also seen from other people talking on YouTube and other skincare videos I've not heard good things from basically anyone that's tried it the chemicals and it like the ingredients are just way too harsh it strips the skin it makes it so so dry and it just left me with so many red marks and scars that took the longest time to recover i'm gonna do a whole separate video on other aspects of skincare including trying to clear up acne scars or acne hyperpigmentation which is obviously something i've dealt with so that is going to be a whole separate video but acne scars can take a long time to heal your skin cycle is every six weeks so it's only every six weeks that a new skin cell regenerates and comes to the surface and scarring can go layers and layers and layers deep so if you've got a scar that's so many layers deep you're only getting a new layer every six weeks so and then a new layer the next six weeks so that can take a really long time to get to the actual fresh skin cells that aren't scarred so healing from scars can actually take like a really long time skincare can definitely speed up that process and doing the right skincare and being consistent and using the right ingredients can definitely speed up the process of healing the scars and getting back to a clear complexion but if you just don't have them in the first place then you don't have that to worry about but yeah just really be mindful that that is a lengthy process so before you go and use anything as harsh as that really figure out whether this is this is going to work for you look at the ingredients maybe do patch tests maybe don't use it every single day use it once a week build your tolerance up and see how you get on because you don't want to get to the point where you made the mistakes that i made and then you were stuck in a position trying to to fix the problem that you'd created i personally think for the money especially the price that you pay for proactive there are much better skincare products out there that you can get for your money things that are a lot more natural, things that don't have as many harsh chemicals and harsh ingredients and that work probably 10 times better. Well, that work 
even 1% better would be <laughs> an improvement for me because that didn't work at all. All I did was made it worse. So I personally think and would not recommend Proactive to anyone and I personally think that there's much better products out there that you can get for your money if you're struggling with acne, if you're struggling with hyperpigmentation, if you're struggling with scarring, anything like that. There is other products and there is another way that you can do for a lot, lot cheaper. There's brands out there now like the Inky List, the Ordinary, um, CeraVe, all of those brands that are so, so affordable and that are actually developed by dermatologists with actual what's the word, beneficial ingredients for your skin and not just these harsh chemicals that are built on marketing in the three-step proactive process. Like, for me, that's just that's just not the way. So like I say, I will do other videos on all of these things and there is a lot more skincare videos to be coming from me because as you can tell, this is what I'm passionate about, this is what I love talking about and I feel like through my own trials and tribulations, I've built up quite a bit of knowledge on things that work, things that don't work. I watch a lot of YouTube on skincare. Skincare on YouTube? I watch a lot of skincare on YouTube. Probably more than I'd like to admit. So yeah, stay tuned because that is all definitely to come. So with that being said, that is probably the end of this video. I'm sure by now you've all pretty much gathered what my opinions on Proactive are. I probably don't need to do a summary. I think you've got the idea. So yeah, please stay tuned because like I say, there's a lot more skincare videos to come from me. So I hope you found this somewhat helpful and you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.